guys, we're going on this trip, and apparently the hot topic on YouTube as of now is this uh, AC Transit bus fight. It's basically this fight between this um, 50-year-old black guy and a 67-year-old white guy on the bus. Now, as far as the breakdown of the story, here's how it went. Now, it, it was it started as a as a racial argument, a racial debate. You know, you're like the black guy's calling the white guy prejudice, or I don't I don't even know how it started, but the video started out with you know the the black guy calling the white guy prejudice and. The stupid woman holding the camera, which is um, the guy, the black guy's friend, egging the fight off. He's like, "Ooh, he's pregnant. He called you prejudice, or he's a racist, or whatever." And then uh, it escalates from this whole to this whole high school drama bullshit, which you think both of the men that age would be above. You know, so I'm bigger than you. I'm I'm, I'm tougher than you. I'm tougher than you. No, I'll whoop your ass. I'll whoop your ass. You know that kind of. Thing. You think that men that age would be above that? And then to avoid it, you know, he um the white guy, you know, says "fuck off," and then he just goes um to the, to the front of the bus, and then um. You know, the lady holding the camera instig instigated to the black guy like, "Ooh, are you gonna take? Are you gonna take me? Like, are you gonna take that land down? You see what he said to you?" And then he goes to the um, he goes to the white guy's face, and then he says, "Oh, what you, he, he, you know, talking shit." He's like, "Yo, what are you gonna do?" And then uh, he says, "I'm not gonna do, do nothing. You put your hands up and you see what happens." And then so the black guy punched him in the gut, and then the white guy he got up and went on Manny Pacquiao on his face and stuff. You know, got his nose busted open or whatever. And then you know the white guy he he gets kicked off the bus, and then it, and then um. The, the black guy or the black guy's friend who decides to get even with him by you know keeping the white guy's stuff or whatever. But all in all, it, they're both they're both in the wrong. You know they both look petty because they're arguing like a bunch of high school teenagers with the whole "I'm tough than you, I'll beat your ass" type of thing. But um, that, this this is teach the this is teach the black guy a couple things. Even though I'm not on really anybody's side, you know one don't talk shit unless you can back it up. And, and even if you would have won the fight. So what? You beat up a 67-year-old man. That's how it would have looked in the court. Like, you know, a 50-year-old black guy beat up a 67-year-old man. But the, actually, you know, the white, guy, the, the white guy or the older guy, he did a pretty good job defending himself, seeing as how he was a freaking ex-Marine. And that, that goes to show you something else. Why are you going to pick on a guy with a, with a history of um, fighting? He's been fighting longer than, he was probably fighting longer than that guy's been alive. But, you know, all in all, the, all the story is pretty much, um, that's how it pretty much went down. Both of them were in the wrong, but, you know. I applaud the, the white guy for defending himself, but, you know, he's also a douchebag for, you know, egging the fight on himself because he could have been avoided. But also, self-defense. And black guy, don't talk shit unless you can back it up. And you see what happens when you pick a fight with an ex-Marine. He still got it in him. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about this story. And, you know, thanks for the reliable source of sending me this. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. This is the Dread Man. Peace.